the base of a regular pyramid is a square and each of the four sides is an equal triangle the length of each side being 20 cm the vertical height wonderful pyramid is a square and then and then there are four equal triangles rising from here so 20 20 20 20 I'm going to imagine one of those equilateral triangles, let's say this one, and imagine that altitude there. So we have to use some form of Pythagoras theorem. And so I'm going to think about this peak of the pyramid down to the base of the pyramid. And that straight line is going to be perpendicular to the base plane. And that's the height of the pyramid. That's what we need to find. So this is base, and then from a point you draw to the center. This is what we need to find. This distance is what we need to find. Now, if you're imagining in terms of Pythagoras theorem, then you can imagine a straight line like this and this straight line. This straight line to that vertex, to the extreme vertices, those are sides of the equilateral triangle. But that right triangle, if that triangle need not be, a, it's not a convenient triangle to look with because that is from this point of the base. We want a line from the base to the side that will measure 10 centimeters so if we can get this we are through that will happen to be the altitude of the equal triangle brilliant so if you're looking at this then we need to find this we can find this as a slant height this is 20 so this is 20 root 3 by 2 or 10 root 3 this is 10 root 3 we need this the base is 10. So we're looking at a right angle triangle where the altitude h is what we need to find. The hypotenuse is 10 root 3 and the third side is 10. 10 square plus h square is 10 root 3 the whole square or h square is 300 minus 100 which is 200 or h is 10 root 2. The other way of doing this, you can say, let's deal with this. This measures 20 and deal with this diagonal, which is 10 root 2 and then find H. That will also be a right angle triangle. So use that approach and say if you'll get the right answer, same answer. One side is 10 root 2, the hypotenuse is 20, find the third one. That should also yield the same answer, 10 root 2.